Hi guys, right, this is a quick video on how to, uh, basically, how to test a good hot from a bad hot. So in front of you here, we've got, um, I'm just currently fixing my, uh, oh, two machines, two Hantrex Polo machines. So um, Mortal Kombat's got a Hantrex Polo 25 inch, which is a chassis board here. And I've got a Sonic Blastman 1990 with a Hantrex Polo one, but a 28 inch. Now the boards are exactly the same. As far as I can see, and all the information that I've found on the, on the web, the boards are exactly the same. The only difference obviously is, is on this one it says Polo 25, as we can see there, and that one it says Polo 28. They're not a Polo 1 or 2, they're just a Polo, so Polo 1, they're both Polo 1s. Everything's spot on, everything look, yeah, everything's exactly the same on each board. So the problems I've got, the problems I've got are, the Sonic Blast Man, which is the 28 inch, that's going into um, shut down straight away. It's got the clicking noise. I've test, just tested the hot on that one. The hot's bad, the hot's gone on that one. Now the hot is a transistor, just so you all know, it's the transistor that sits on the board. So move the, get out of the way. Move the laptop out of the way. So basically the, trans, the hot is the transistor. So you get your flyback transformer there and when the flyback goes, or when other things go on the board, it takes the hot out, which is a horizontal something transistor. I've got a little bit now. I forgot what it's called now. Basically, if you can see, it is a transistor with three legs that is then uh, clamped onto this metal shielding there. So basically on the other side there, to find the three legs, they are there, one, Two and three. One, two, three. Oh, anyway, just there. So what I'm going to do is this video is just a quick video to show how to test the hot. Um, so just going back to it quickly. This board is in shutdown. It's not going anywhere. It's just, just clicking, which obviously tells you straight away that the. Uh, oops, sorry. So this board's going into shutdown with the clicking. This one. Um, when to, went to shut down ages ago, this is on the, off the Mortal Kombat uh, 1. Um, basically, I changed the flyback, I could see the flyback was arcing. It wasn't in shutdown, the flyback was arcing. I could hear the flyback trying to kick in. Trying to kick in, it wasn't kicking. Which is, flyback is a high voltage transformer with the, uh, the cup on for the actual screen. So I've replaced that. I've not done too bad of a job to be fair. We'll zoom in, you can see. I've replaced that and done all the solder joints there. That's all been replaced. I plugged it back in. I got a picture. I was messing around with the remote board, um, trying to get the picture sorted. Now on that cabinet, it's a Mortal Kombat 1 cabinet, but I'm actually running a PC through a uh, J-Pack. So um, the problem was the PC, the battery on the board was dead. So I was getting a crap screen anyway. I'd got no, actual test card for any of these monitors, so I couldn't plug a test card in and get a test screen up, which would have been a lifesaver if I could. I've got a jammer board now that I can test on this, but meanwhile, while I was testing it out, uh, I could hear some, something sparking, and the AC on the top of here was loose. Now, as you can see here, I'll show you, zoom in on that. The AC input there is just there. If you can see there, it's loose. So it was, it was sparking, it wasn't working. So what I've done today is I've just gone in there and I've just hardwired my AC now to a normal um, three core cable. All there, look. Ready to uh, junction box basically straight to the monitor so I can pump it all up. So this board now should be working okay because I say the flyback transformer went down. I fixed the flyback transformer. I've also reflowed the remote board see that there, that's all been reflowed, it's nice and shiny, I've done every single joint on there, that's all been reflowed with the solder iron, that should be okay. Uh, I've got quite a lot of things missing, but I've got a nice brand new, um, zoom out, got a nice brand new, well not brand new, but really good condition, remote board on this one. This remote board is actually put straight onto the board rather than off the loom cable, so I might actually use that uh, remote board on this monitor because what I've now done is the Sonic Blast Man has been replaced with a Technica Tesco LCD screen. So, what I'm basically doing is out of these two boards, all I need to do is get one working. That's the plan. 
So anyway, going back to this video, this video is just basically showing you quickly how to identify um, the hot. I'm sorry we're five minutes in, I've not done this yet. So following the flowchart, you can get on Google, Handtrex Polo flowchart. If you set your, um, basically set your thing to diode or continuity test on your uh, meter, on there. It tells you to ground the black onto the mm. chassis. So, as I say, on this Huntrex Polo 28, I know 100% that this has got um, a bad hot, because I can hear the clicking noise. So, we ground the chassis. So let's just stick in the hole at the side there on the chassis itself. So that's ground on the chassis. And zooming in, we can see the legs. I know exactly where they are, I'll just quickly show you the legs. Now, test the hot. So we've got the three legs there. You can see the three legs there? Yeah. So the three legs there. Um, the end two should both short. So we can hear the beep in there, we get a beep. And that one there, short. The middle one shouldn't short. The middle one shouldn't short. So I've got the um, ground there. Touching the middle tab, middle leg, it shorts. Now, because that shorts and beeps, and gives me a 005 on the reading, that is definitely showing that's a blown hot. Now, as I said, I've got this one working, this other board, which is this one, Mortal Kombat. I've got this one working, but I was struggling with the picture, etc. when I did the flyback. So this has had a brand new flyback on there. Um, the other one looks like it needs a flyback, but it definitely needs something to, I'm not just going to replace the hot, because if I replace the hot, it'll probably just blow again. The hot is like a safe, in a, in a sense, a sort of a safety thing. It's not a safety thing, but it, it blows. When, when that's blown, you know something's wrong. With this one, I'm going to ground it there. So again, with the three legs, can you see that okay? Yeah, three legs. You've got, where is it? Oh, so it's here. So three legs. Is that right? Where's the three legs? Yeah, three legs today. So we've got that one there, which is shorting out. That one there, which is shorting out. Now, if this one shorts out, this is bad, but I know for a fact it won't. And it doesn't, it's fine. So we know that hot's good. And I also know this hot's good because Cinder say, I got a, I, you know, after replacing the flyback, I did get a picture. It just wasn't a very good picture, but then since getting the picture, the AC was shorting and wobbling around. So I've now done a, an AC to it, a hard wide AC, because again, the board's knackered there, absolutely knackered. Done a hard wide AC. My next step now is, now I know the hot's gone on that one. I know something's wrong with that, possibly more than likely gonna be the, the, the flyback transformer, even though there's no cracks or anything on it. I'm going to stick with this board for a second now I've done the AC, I'm going to try putting this back in the Mortal Kombat with the um, JPEG in, but I'm going to try booting the PC up on a different screen first, on a, on a normal PC monitor, just to get the screen up into a nice big white, a white screen with like a sunshine on the back, it's a, it's a PC background. Get that up first before I wire this in, and then I can calibrate the monitor, hopefully spot on if it boots up. If this one doesn't boot up, my next step is gonna be, because I know the hot and everything's good on this, um, depending on what I get, basically I'm gonna get two, one of these two boards working. The Handtrex 28, I'll be honest with you, is, looks a better board, better quality board. It's, it looks cleaner, everything looks better on there. Um, although saying that it has had a repair there, I'm not sure if you can see it. Is it the, the, the probably both, but both these boards in the lifetime probably both have repairs. I mean, that one's obviously if that's been, if that's an original board, that's been in Sonic Blast Man for 30 years. I don't think it's that old, surely. But um, I'm either going to go with taking bits off that onto this board or vice versa. I think what I'll probably do is, is try replacing getting my flyback off of the Mortal Kombat board, which has been replaced with a brand new flyback, and putting it on the 28 board and then swapping the hot over as well, which would mean I've done the flyback and the hot and try that and listen for the first time I plug it in. If the hot blows again, 
then go through the chart and replace the other things that they've replaced in, which I believe are three uh, poly poly transistors and a couple of caps as well. I've not done a cap kit on either board because I don't I, I didn't I didn't want to do that yet. Um, so yeah, I'm the first off. I'm going to try the Mortal Kombat board now. Now I know the hot's okay, and I've hardwired the AC. We've got the AC. We've got everything we need now for this board hopefully to fire up. So I'll try that, and I'll get back to you and see where we go from there. Okay. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope, I hope it helps. So remember, the main objective of this video is to test the hot. So now there's a video on there on YouTube straight away, so you can go on there and you can test your hot. Obviously, if your hot's gone, then follow the flow chart. You've got to replace. Um, the flyback and other things on the chart as well. I can't remember off the top of my head what they are, but um, at least you can test the hot. So if you've got a Hantrex Polo 25 or 28 or whatever, if it's Hantrex Polo 1 and you're getting the clicking sound, you can test the hot. And if the hot is shorting on the middle pin and all the other, well, all three pins, if it's shorting once you've ground the black wire and touch the pins, the legs with the red wire, if the middle pin is shorting, you know the hot's gone and the hot needs replacing. Um, you can either get them from America, from different hard arcade repair sites, or I found one today on eBay. Um, oops, sorry, brand new stock. Um, just basically a guy clearing out his stock. It's, in, it's brand new hot. I'll test it when it comes for £4 delivered. So uh, they are nice. You can get them nice and cheap. And um, if you zoom in on the hot, which I'll tell you what it is now, it is a BU. 508A or something like that, I think. I can't quite see it now, but uh, you'll see on your on your hot if you've got one. Um, just put that code in and it came up straight away. Found one straight away, luckily. So I'll um, chuck this um, board then back into the um, Mortal Kombat and we'll give it a whirl and I'll get back to you and let you know from there. But if you're not following this series, obviously at least you've got this video now to test your hot. Okay, good luck and be safe. Take care, guys. Bye.